Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a haul, and if you are interested in seeing the thrifting video for this haul, unfortunately, I do not have one, because this is all stuff that I was posting on Instagram when I was thrifting, so if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, do not forget to do that. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. Check out my shop, it's Hadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures where these items, by the time you see this video, will be up for sale if you guys are interested in any of these. Go check it out. Links down below in the description box as well. Um, but yeah, so let me show you guys what I ended up finding. Um, I found, I think, some really, really cute stuff and I am super excited. This one I actually um, posted asking you guys if you like uh, vintage Dooney, and this one is Vintage Dooney Made in USA, and it is a backpack. I love it. It's canvas and leather. Um, super fun. Drawstring. The inside is fabric. There's like a black mark in there, but it's not like too horrible, but there's a little Made in USA Dooney tag right there, and it's just beautiful. The leather has patinaed beautifully. It'll just patina more over time as well. And then here is the back strap over here. Super cute and super functional. So, love a backpack moment. Hey guys, it's Adrian here. I just wanted to hop on really quick and let you guys know that I am having a Halloween sale in the shop, so happy Halloween. Everything will be 20% off. It's Adrian.com. Link is down below in the description box if you guys want to go check it out. Um, and everything should be marked down already, but new items, um, Depop doesn't let me mark down and I have to do it manually. So send me a DM on Depop and I will discount the item for you by 20%. Again, please make sure to send me a DM first because I cannot discount anything that's already been purchased. So go check it out. It's Adrian.com. Again, sale ends November 1st, 2020. Uh, happy Halloween. And yeah, so there is that. Ooh, and then um, I've already showed you guys this. Like, well, okay, I'm gonna show you guys this. But there's this um, a mark by Mark Jacobs bag, beautiful bag. This um, the same day that I actually thrifted this, I actually thrifted the matching, uh, like a like another bag in this from the same uh, collection. I'm gonna link it up there if you guys wanna check out that video as well. But that, um, I also thrifted the satchel version of this bag. And this is a beautiful crossbody strap. I love the light gray. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I don't know, I love Mark by Mark Jacobs bag. I think they're always so classic and timeless. And he uses, like, really cool leathers. And this is, like, it looks almost like a, like, it's a thick green. It almost looks like a buffalo leather. And it might be, because I know sometimes he does use, um, buffalo in his bags. Ooh, no, but this one is lamb leather. Ooh, so the body is lamb and the trim is cow. So yeah, okay, lamb leather does also look like this too. Um, it's like, that's why it's so super soft. Usually if it's like harder, it is a buffalo, I think. But this is super soft, lamb skin. Um, the trim is cow leather, so it's probably the strap because it's just like smooth. And yeah, anyway, that's that bag. It's beautiful. I love the color. The gray is gorgeous. And while we're on the topic of gray bags, um, I have this beauty for you guys. Now, this is a Dooney and Burke satchel. This is a newer style. So, the first one I showed you was uh, Made in USA. These are um, newer, so these are made in China. Um, beautiful gray bag. I love the dome shape. It looks kind of like the Louis Vuitton Alma. It has fun tassels on the, um, on the... <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. On the zipper pull. Oh my gosh. And the inside is in pretty great shape. There are, uh, there's one zipper pocket and then three open pockets and then a key ring on there. And then there's also this front magnetic snap pocket as well, which is perfect to throw in your phone or your keys or whatever you want, like, easy access to. So there's that. I love this gray, too, and I love this leather. It's so nice. The pebble leather. Ugh. Love it. Okay, um, then up next, we have another Dooney and Burke. Again, this one is a, I believe this is a vintage one, made in USA. Yes, this is a vintage one. Now, this one is, like, a more... Um, well-known style of vintage Dooney and Burke bags. Crossbody, so this is um, black all-weather leather with the um, brown leather trim. 
has this kind of opening right there. Uh, it does have a back pocket as well. And then it says all weather leather right there. And it has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets on the inside. These bags are so fantastic. Like, my mom has like a pretty good collection of Dooney Burke bags. Dooney Burke bags are one of her first loves. Um, when she actually moved to America, like when she bought bags, they were usually always Dooney and Burke, and she just loved them. And she's like, she still has them, and they look so fantastic. Mom takes really good care of her bags, so they literally look brand new still. So that's that's super cute. Oh, and here's another one, another Dooney and Burke. Again, this is a newer style, another satchel. This is in a black pebbled leather top handles, the longer shoulder strap. Interior is a bright red. This guy was $8. Really, really cute and really, really fun. There's that. Oh, my battery's gonna die. Okay, sorry about that. My batteries have been acting crazy this whole day. Um, so the next thing I have here, now this is a beautiful vintage coach bag. I love this style. I always forget the name and I always mix it up with another one that looks very similar in style but it has a different kind of top. But um, I I very rarely see um, coach bags like vintage ones made in USA in different colors and recently I got like a um, like a green one, a blue one, and then this purple one and I'm really excited about it. This is really really pretty. Um, it has like a, like the, what is this called? It's not like piping, but the, um, the leather strip that goes around like the corners of the bag are like a different kind of purple than the rest of it. And there is a little bit of fading in the leather, as you can see like right there, but you can never tell when this is closed up. But the bag is so super duper cute. There's a front pocket right there, and the inside has one interior pocket right there in the back. And I just love vintage coach bags. Again, like vintage um, Dooney and Burke, like the leathers are just so exquisite and so phenomenal. Like I don't know where they got the leather to make these bags, but like I don't know why they don't have them anymore. Like they just don't make them like they used to, honestly. But um, this bag is just really, really cute and really, really great. And I am really excited about this. This is, um, I think this is one of my favorite ones in this um in this haul video just because of the color is exquisite and i really like the style of the bag and vintage coach i think is always exciting for me uh then up next i have a mark by mark jacobs natasha bag uh, this is in kind of like a clay color with gold hardware i always pick these up whenever i see them i don't know why i like these bags so much i think they're fantastic mom really loves hers she has a nylon one that she uses to travel and it's a, lo a little bit of a larger size than this one but it's fantastic because this um the top flap has this built-in zipper pocket that goes all the way into the back of the bag which i think is perfect during travel because it's really hard like for anyone to like try to like take anything that's in there and the pocket is actually really big so you can put a lot of stuff in there and then inside the front you can just put like your water or like snacks or whatever if you wanted to um but yeah there's one zipper pocket inside and then two open pockets and this just closes like that and it has the cross body strap which is adjustable there we go nice and easy i remember when this uh this bag became popular because of that one movie i think it was like Valentine's, or was it Valentine's Day or whatever that movie it had, um, who was in it? Like Taylor Swift was in it, Taylor Lautner was in it, like a bunch of like famous actors and actresses were in it and one of them carried this bag by Mark, by, uh, by Mark Jacobs and like it got so popular, um, people were like looking for it left and right and it was just like flying off the shelf, so. Uh, okay. Anyway, then up next, I'm really excited about this Michael Kors tote because it's in such fabulous condition and I really, really like the style. It's like a burgundy leather and then it has a, like a lace floral overlay design. Like it's not an actual overlay, it's like on the leather itself, but it it's like in that design. It's really, really pretty and the bag itself is in such fabulous condition. And it's super duper clean, looks fabulous, it has four 
open pockets inside and then one zipper pocket and then the whole bag actually zips closed which is really nice and the top handles are super comfortable to wear on your shoulder it's like the perfect length and will fit very comfortably on your shoulder if anyone is wondering but yeah michael kors this is like the perfect fall and winter tote like the color of this is beautiful i don't know if like the camera is doing justice to it but it's beautiful exquisite i love it makes me super excited okay the last but not least um I have this super duper cute, so it's like a little squished, so I want to like <laughs> get it right for you guys. But um, here we have just a little uh, Burberry shoulder bag. It has like a little handle like this. You can actually attach a crossbody strap to this if you wanted. But it's just like a little shoulder bag that goes like this and sits on your shoulder. Um, kind of shaped, kind of like a speedy, but it doesn't have a top handle. It's in a, uh, like a baby pink, baby blue, baby blue, brown, and cream, like, checkered print. And then it has a white leather trim. And then the strap is nylon. And you can actually make the strap, I think you can make, you can make it shorter, you just can't make it longer. Um, but yeah, it's a super duper fun cute bag um the little thing like the burberry part got like that uh it's supposed to it's supposed to be like a gold foil thing it has um unfortunately come off you can kind of still see it if you like tilt it a certain way but um like the seal number and the maiden stamp is down there made in italy and it also has burberry on the hardware as well there's burberry right there and it says burberry right there as well so um really really cute i haven't found a burberry anything in like a hot second so i was really excited to have found this guy um and yeah <laughs> that's the end of the video thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today and checking out what i found again do not forget to follow me on instagram because i do post a lot of stuff on there as well that i aren't in like the YouTube videos, more behind the scenes stuff, um, more thrifting stuff, and more interactive stuff as well. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments uh, if you find anything really cool recently at the thrift. Let me know because I always love hearing about your finds. Um, it's, oh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's I'm so happy to have you guys here. Welcome to the thrift squad. Um, Oh, don't forget to check out today's vlog. It's up at 2. The new thrifting video goes up tomorrow, but early at 7 a.m. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Alright, bye!